Hi! So today I wanted to give you nice, happy scenery and a nice, happy video. Ah, thank you all so much for all the nice things you said about my little brother. That's pretty. <laughs> um, I really, really appreciate it. It was very tough uh, for me. The past, uh, it's, it's still tough. Pretty much all the same issues, all the same problems that I had before. I'm just, you know, wish I could be there, but I can't, so, nah. That's what makes it hard. Um, <clears throat> it's getting kind of uh, chilly these days. Just when the sun isn't down. I mean, just when the sun isn't up. <laughs> when the sun is up, it's actually like hot. You know, you could go outside in a t-shirt and be comfortable. But then as soon as the sun goes down, like right now the sun is behind some clouds, so it looks like it's dark. All right, the sun over there is behind some clouds. So it's like really cold right now. I'm in my, my mittens and I have my coat on and it's chilly. And on the way here, because I, I went to my uh, Tuesday school today, on the way here I, um, I was basically in a t-shirt because the sun was out. <laughs> So that kind of stinks. It's hard to dress, especially when you're just on a bike, because it's like, what am I supposed to wear? Oh, my student's in that car, that's cute. <laughs> um, so today, oh no, I have to talk about this, even though I said it was gonna be a happy video. <laughs> um, I got, sort of completely and utterly fed up with one of my sixth grade classes and I've talked about them before how they're just like awful just because they they uh, it's really it's hard to explain how they are um, without making it sound like really petty you know like ah oh, they're they write notes in class and they don't pay attention and they say snarky things and then when they when I ask a question they won't repeat after me you know it's like it's just a bunch of little things that all add up to being like a really negative experience um, and it, it's especially hard because I get along with them just fine when it's not English class like when I eat lunch in their classroom I do every three weeks I eat lunch in their classroom they're perfectly fine and they're very nice and they're personable and you know I see them in the hallway and they always are cheerfully like hello but for some reason when it comes time for English class they're just ugh, so obnoxious they won't they won't be good kids and it's really annoying and this is something I've struggled with since the very beginning with this class this one class and in the three and a half years that I've been teaching in, Eng uh, in Japan, I've never had a class like this. I've had a couple of classes that have been a little bit nasty, um, but you know, every once in a while they'd have a bad attitude, but I'd be able to like get them back into it, back into shape with, um, with some fun games or whatever, but just there's nothing I can do. And you know, sometimes, sometimes they get a little bit better, sometimes, you know, uh, right before summer vacation, I introduced this um, technique where I'd make them do worksheets if they wouldn't pay attention and they wouldn't at least pretend to be enthusiastic. And um, uh, that worked for a little while, but then it stopped working because they just wouldn't do the worksheets. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of had to phase that out. But at the time, that worked really, really well. But obviously now it doesn't and so I was trying to teach them today and we were like halfway through a game and they were just like being so obnoxious and so I just stopped the game and I sat them all down and then I stared them down like literally I just stood in front of the class like sweeping my eyes back and forth staring at each of them and they were like silent and I did that for like three straight minutes just staring at them and I can make my eyes really huge <laughs> and it's, I hear it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> so I was, I was just staring at them, glaring angrily, and they were just horrified. And so, and then I was like, there's so many things that I could say to them right now, which would make them sad. Because, you know, clearly, 
they like me. So that's why me being angry with them upsets them. If they didn't care, then they wouldn't have been upset. Um, if they didn't know that they were being bad, then they wouldn't have been upset with my, with my anger. But they, they knew. So they were very uh, self-conscious and upset. And <laughs> they were not happy looking. Um, and uh, finally I was like, okay, so I, should this be a lecture or, or what should I say? And I just, I said, um, I've been in Japan for more than three years. I've taught over 50 classes. And this is the only class where I don't enjoy myself. And with that, I said, all right, goodbye. And then I left. And I was like, yeah, after the fact, I walked away. And I was like, mm. you know, that was harsh. <laughs> that was really harsh. But, I mean, let's be fair here. They're self-aware enough to know that what they're doing is obnoxious. They know that they're not being a good class. And if they would just improve their attitudes, then we would have so much fun every time. But because they have a bad attitude, it's really difficult for me and it's difficult for them to enjoy themselves. And when I'm not enjoying myself, then they're not enjoying themselves. So it's just, uh, it's just, it was so frustrating. So I was like, I don't have fun in this class. And I just left and the teacher was standing there and I was like, the atmosphere in this class is very bad during English class. And it, it makes me upset. And I was very upset. Like I walked away and I felt like, I felt like sick to my stomach. It didn't make me feel good. Like I'm recounting the story now laughing, but it didn't make me feel good. I laugh whenever I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> that's, that's kind of my uh, defense mechanism. So it, it made me, it made me uh, upset uh, to have to do that. But I'm glad that I did. Like I'm gonna go to bed tonight feeling better and hopefully next time I have that class, which is next week, hopefully I'll, they'll have some better attitudes or hopefully, you know, and who knows, if they do improve their attitudes, who knows if it'll, it'll last. But at this point, they've only got like another couple of months, like four months, the rest of December, and then January, February, and then they graduate halfway through March. So they'll, they'll go to junior high school and they'll be someone else's problem. <laughs> um, but it's not fair because it's only that class. There's two other classes and I love them and they're, they're so much fun. We have a ton of fun every class. Um, but uh, I, I think after winter vacation, I only have them like another six or seven times or something like that. Um, so it's not like it'll be an issue for me for very much longer because they'll be graduating and the new kids, not the new kids, but the, the fifth graders who will become sixth graders, they're going to be awesome because I've said this a thousand times, I love the fifth graders, there's like nothing bad about them whatsoever <laughs> and they're adorable and they pay attention so well and I love teaching them. So they're going to be awesome sixth graders. <clears throat> so I'm excited for that. And then the fourth grade classes are going to be fifth graders. And that's going to be a little more difficult because there's four classes of fourth graders as opposed to just three. Because there's so many of them. <laughs> so that might be um, a little difficult. But the best thing about the uh, fifth grade textbook is that the first few lessons are really, really easy and fun. So it's, it's, it's easy to get the kids involved and excited about it. But it's not like I have that issue right now because I pretty much already got the fourth graders hooked. <laughs> like, as I've said, I've never had an issue with a class before in these past three and a half years, except for that one sixth grade class. So the fact that they're graduating and leaving <laughs> is kind of a relief for me. <laughs> I know that's bad to say. I know I'm a teacher. I shouldn't say that, but I'm actually really happy that they're leaving. <laughs> um, and then at my tiny school, the school that I'm coming from right now, <laughs> the, way, the way it works is there are 20 kids in the whole school. There's four kids in sixth grade, two kids in fifth grade, one kid in fourth grade, eight kids in third grade. 
uh, one kid in second grade and four kids in first grade. And so I teach first and second grade together, uh, third and fourth grade together, fifth and sixth grade together. So the, the sixth graders are obviously graduating, obviously. So the fifth grader, the sixth graders are graduating. So the fifth graders are becoming sixth graders. So there will be two sixth graders. And then the one fourth grader is becoming a fifth grader, obviously. And so, so the, fifth in, the fifth and sixth grade class that I teach English to will only have three kids in it. And I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. No clue. That's not even enough. Like, how do, I, how do I play games? How do I play games with three kids? I can't make two teams. It's already hard enough trying to teach a class of six and do this thing, but it's like, we can't even, we can't even, we literally can't do anything with only three kids. And like, when it comes time to do interview games, like when you have to go around and interview each other, what time do you wake up? What time do you go to school? Like, this is the shortest game ever because there's only three of them. So I have no idea. Like that, that's gonna be my, one of my biggest challenges besides this one sixth grade class. Besides them, of course. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty insane <laughs> at this point. And then I don't even know, it, it really depends on how many first graders will be coming in. You know, Cause the, the one second grader will be going up to third grade. And so the, the third and fourth grade size classroom will stay the same. It'll, it'll stay with only nine students because they're losing the fourth grader to become a fifth grader, but they're only gaining one second grader. So it'll be basically the same class except for one new student. Um, and then who knows what the, the new first graders. Oh my God, tiny, tiny school. It's so difficult. Um, yeah, anyway. I'm coming up on a hill up here that I have to that I have to use two hands to to climb or else I won't be able to get to the top so got to say goodbye. Uh, thanks for listening to me rant and whine and thanks for the well wishes for my little brother. I'll see you next time. I'll definitely upload Thanksgiving soon. Bye.